Hi guys, my name is Ty and I'm the assistant manager of support here at Zydax and I'm going to go ahead and show you what might have happened if your hard drive doesn't show up in Windows. The first thing we'll need to do in most cases is take off the back panel. In many cases we'll have two thumb screws located about here and here and then the panel will slide off in this direction and you can access what's behind it. In this case we have the Leviathan and it's just a quick release panel so all you do is pull and it has little pegs and it pops off and we can set that aside. And then in this case, our hard drive is either right here or right here, and there should be two cables going to it. We'll go ahead and move to a close-up and I'll explain some more. So here's our hard drive, and it should have two connections going to it. One's a little bit wider and one's narrower. This is the SATA data cable, and this is the SATA power cable. Sometimes in shipping or when you move your system, these can get loose or get unplugged. So if your system looks like this, it's missing a cable and you can look around and you can usually find it, and it just plugs right back in. And the same thing goes for the SATA power cable. So sometimes, in this case, maybe it fell down and you don't see it. Look around your case. This is what the SATA power cable looks like. There's a small L in it. It's about that wide. And then it just plugs into the hard drive, just like that. And then um, even if they look plugged in, sometimes what works good is just to remove the cable and reattach it for both cables. And then check again and see if your hard drive shows up in Windows.